Right, well done, you've made it. So <laughs> two days, um, yesterday's probably a distant memory. Um, I just want to finish fairly quickly with a reminder and then uh, our possible plans for the future. So um, Bruce gave me the uh, title of the talk, the end of the beginning, um, which I always like because um, every time we do a project like this, we really make a big step forward and we've done it again in Psycare and I can't wait for the next one. So, e-infrastructures, we know about these, complex ICT, science gateways, a window to that complex ICT, and why do we want to do it? We want to make things open to help African researchers as much as possible to raise their profile across the world. And we've had lots of discussions about this, and we've had lots of examples of it being used, or at least the components of it being used from the champions. And also we've had some fantastic talks and some stimulating discussions and it's been great. So just to remind you, we've done our materials. All of this is available online. 124 educational materials, please, please use them. We've got a new community of 213 uh, infrastructure developers, Science Gateway developers, and 35 champions of 15 communities of practice. I'm hoping this will just keep, keep growing. We've got lots and lots of services we're helping people understand what repositories are. We're helping institutes to award their own DOIs. And again, it's more and more and more infrastructures and services. And then we're disseminated like crazy. I can't believe the number of workshops we've run in this project. And every one has meant we've got 60 or 70 people have come to our workshops. And we've had more fantastic discussions there, more ideas and more innovations. And of course, we've talked about the Hackfests. Those were genuinely new in this project. And Margaret identified the role of Hackfests in society. And it's great to see that they've worked in this context and generated the new 35 champions. So our virtuous circle, we create educational materials. We train people in Hackfests. We create new services. We create new materials. We train more people. And we keep going round and round. So what are the big outcomes of this project? the e-research hackfests and the open science commons on which they're based. But the primary idea is in, and if you think about it, since July last year we've created 35 champions. And goodness knows where this is going to go in the future. So we will seek to continue to support the champions on their journeys. We really believe that these people are key actors and innovators and we're going to help them to develop and influence and energize science in their communities of practice through open science and ICT. We will continue to seek to run more e-research hackfests. I've had discussions with individuals in the last two days about trying to plan ad hoc events to seek small amounts of funding to make them happen. And until we get the next big program, let's keep it going. We don't have to wait for the next big program because there are little pockets of funding available all over the place if we just look hard. We've got all the materials to run these things, so let's keep doing the research hackfests and establish new partnerships. The discussions with the software carpentry people have been very, very exciting. And establish partnerships such as Africa Connect 2 to keep promoting the message across the region. And we will seek to continue to develop the Open Science Commons. There's big movements in Europe to do this, there's big movements in the States. I've already mentioned that funders are mandating this now. And we've kind of got an edge in Africa on this because we've already started the discussion. And the champions will continue that. And I'll put that down on purpose. It's not a technical platform. It's a socio-technical platform. And the most important part of this is the people, are the people. So we can produce technology as much as we want, but it's useless without the people to use it. So we will continue to do this with the people in mind. And then with international development, we'll seek to continue to work with eco infrastructure initiatives to continue to develop African research infrastructure. As I already mentioned, Africa Connect 2 is a big program that's going to light up Western Central Africa. Now very, we're very keen to work with them to give them concrete examples of successful e-science and open science projects that we've made possible. We'll continue to do this with Africa Connect. We will continue to do this with Ubuntu Net and Wakran to keep pushing the message out there that there is a thirst and a hunger for this ICT and there are a tremendous number of bright people across Africa that can seriously benefit from it. 
So to summarize, it's been a great two years. The achievements speak for themselves. We've got other projects that we've worked with and we contribute, and I'd like to thank Omo for spelling out what we've done with um, Wackerin and with Tandem. But the bottom message is we're not finished. You know, this is literally is the end of the beginning. So we shall continue our work and look forward to meeting lots of more people like yourselves and have lots more collaboration. So thank you, everybody, for coming. And uh, it's been a great couple of days. Great.